the Apex Expo 2022 in San Diego, San Diego even. Um, the end of day one, uh, I'm joined by Pierre and Sean from um, Semtech. Uh, we spoke in Product Tronica, didn't we? Yeah, so. It feels like yesterday almost, but. Damien's um, flying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, how's the, first of all, how's the first day been for you both? I mean, it's. Yeah, uh, it's been uh, really good. Um, you know, the, the larger company, Nano Dimension, uh, yeah. it purchased uh, SM Tech uh, uh, in a really solid partnership for the future of electronics in you know, early November that we announced. Um, yeah, was that from electronics, wasn't it? Yes. It was, a, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think exactly. it was like a week before, yeah. but yeah, 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 absolutely. And um, we're, we're driving the companies together. You know, from a product perspective, SM Tech has, is a known brand. You know, we're keeping their brand around. We're not... We're not changing that, uh, and, and we want to keep that customer base, but that customer base that's sort of in the NPI areas that are thinking about new generations of how to do electronics in the future. Um, and we're really seeing that sort of combined customer base really start to come together for, for advancing to the future of, of what we, we think. And we've done a lot more designs since then, get customers coming with new designs. You know, we have this wonderful one we, yeah, we showed today. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that are the advantages of additively manufactured electronics. You know, and if you took this this, for the machine that's been around for a long time, um, I bought one in 2016 myself as a customer, right, okay. um, just the quality of the surface topography and everything alone is fundamentally advanced on the same chassis yeah. um, through software development, through uh, understanding our materials more, um, and we're seeing a resurgence in people that were interested enough or even have a machine from back then saying, you know, we understand the supply chain issues certainly be a good catalyst for this, but they're, they're back at the table again, and the amount of OEM engagement that we had at the SM Tech booth and, and the, the Nano Dimension uh, sort of AME booth um, has been really engaging um, for, for us and very happy, so, yeah. That's good. Were you slightly surprised? I mean, I mean we said, with, you know, Product Tronica, a lot of people there went with no expectations, really, because we didn't, you know, getting back together after two years, we didn't know what it'd be like. This is, you know, the major show in the US, another major international show. And people have turned out, haven't they? They have. Um, I, I may say that our working assumption was that possibly there will be less visitors, but the one visiting will have projects, will have service projects. And in fact, day one has confirmed that. Yeah. Today, we had not zillions of you know visitors on our booth, but what we have talked about was very, very promising and interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Really business right. focused. Yeah. I think. Um, we're happy with the number, but what we're happy with is the quality right. of the leads that we're, yes. we're we're I don't we don't need every single PCB shop to be yeah. talking to us on the AME side or assembly on SM Tech side. We need the OEM engagement yeah. about the future, and the OEM big names are the ones that are coming by, Excellent. and that's the one that gives us wheels to, to lean into the future, yeah. so that you can drive the eventual contract manufacturing of, of yeah. these of these futuristic things. Fantastic. So yeah. we're very very happy with the names. So we announced the acquisition of SM Tech by Nano Dimension. Right. Product Tronica, you're all still friends, which is really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, even more. Well, we were told even to be more friends. because two months ago we were barely knowing we each, didn't know other, each other. You know? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah. And, and last week, I can disclose, last week in Switzerland we had the top executive management from Nano. It was a review of the integration after two months. Oh, yeah. was it going and so on. Yeah. To be fair, I think we have done a very successful exercise just reviewing. There is no hiccups, no hassles. More just the opposite, we have stimulation, we are going to combine our efforts on a couple of common projects. We have done, here we don't have the sample, but we have done the first EMI plus SMTech components placement, you know, yeah. on separate equipment, but that's really yeah. where we are going to train and merge the technologies. So it proves it was a perfect partnership. I think so, yeah. uh, and I think the creativity of SMTech with, you know, integrated machines between uh, dispensing yeah. and pick and place and, and paste, uh, is already having that, that already gives us a sort of a multifunctional head to put inside the 3D printer. Yeah. So we're not yeah. having to partner with 10 different companies to get this right. information, right? Yeah. We, we can start uh, uh, much quicker. Uh, and as, as Pierre mentioned, we, we have printed AME and yeah. now put it inside of our SM Tech uh, equipment and it's worked. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't yeah, break. In fact, yeah. here um, you have a classical one. Is a keychain, is a demonstrator of the best we can do on the conventional SMT from SM Tech machines. Right, yeah. And in fact, we have done that on the AME substrate. No, done. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. proof of concept. Yeah. Done. So, yeah, it proves 
vindicates the decision to merge and do these things. Yeah, I think so. It also gives you a springboard for the future, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, if you think about na Nano Dimension is, is a true, you know, it's a technology startup trying to be yeah. bold and change. Yeah. And SM Tech was there as well then. It hadn't focused a, a, a ton in the U.S., um, and, and now we're, we're really focused on investing in that build out from their legacy yeah. product lines. Yeah, yeah. But that uh, enables the entire company to have this larger cross sell and, and it's, yeah. it's really a synergistic cross sell. I mean, in, in theory, just say we didn't have this vision of integrating fully into a one 3D printing machine, you could print in line 3D printed circuit board directly in line to a, a, a one other machine with yeah. what they have and, and no one, nothing else yeah, yeah, reflow. Yeah. But, um, you know, we're, we're at that point today. Yeah. Um, and, and so it's, it's, it's been very fruitful. Um, the teams are coming together um, and, and thinking of more exciting ways to do things. And as you, you say, you know, being a startup, it gives you a bit of a clean slate, doesn't it? You know, you, because it's an industry that has, you know, players in here that have been here for decades. And the last few years, the pace of innovation has changed. We're looking for innovative solutions to you know problems that come up. You know, with all the new you know, miniaturization of technology. You know, whether that's in smartphones, defence projects, or electric cars. Um, we're having to get more on boards and boards that are more consistent and more um, robust all the time. Right. Um, and it, I guess a lot of the time, a startup can think you don't have any hangovers from the past. So yeah. you, you approach it from a totally different perspective to you know established players, maybe. Absolutely. I might be talking that. No, 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 no. I mean, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. look, we don't think that uh, AME is going to replace every single circuit board in the world. We're not naive to that. But is it 30, 40% of it? In, in some ways, if you look around this entire show, the combination that we're going to wind up with with the 3D printer and SM Tech is the ultimate lean project with every single piece of equipment in here yeah. into two refrigerator size, right, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. Um, and, and I think that's a bold vision. Uh, you know, the, some of the SMT, you know, the, the, from a PCBA side, there's been a lot of good work for communication between systems yeah. and sort of, you know, production systems. On the bare board fabrication, not, not so much, right? right? Yeah. There, that connectivity doesn't exist, and so it's really hard to create manufacturing systems that truly lean out the process, um, you know, especially with aging equipment and recapitalization of these plants is a nightmare. And, um, and, and we're just coming at it from a different approach and we've been around for a long time, but we're really starting to, we already had sort of the momentum of getting better quality um, and certainly our recapitalization, if you will, this in 2021, the beginning of 2021 really was a catalyst. And I think we have, you know, the opportunity to of, of any company to actually make this happen yeah. um, where before it was uh, a dream. I mean, it, it, and, and now now it's a dream with the, the capital to be able to do it. Yeah. And now it's about execution. Yeah. yeah. Now there is the means, you know, to really yeah. work on the vision and on the strategy. And that, that's really cool. Yeah. What are you hearing from customers that are coming along then? You know, this, you know, it's clearly chiming with what they're asking for. Um, I think, you know, the SM Tech equipment, uh, I think understanding that they have all three, uh, you know, again, paste, pick and place and, and, and inside the same equipment is, is really good and they, they have, customers have to see that. It's really great for MPI areas in particular. Um, but on, you know, on the 3D side, we have, um, it's education. You know, what, once an engineer sees, I haven't met an engineer that hasn't, once they see it, they're like, Oh my gosh, I get it, right? I mean, we just yeah. we just printed this. Here's a phased array radar with topography back into it, right? Over the course of history, right, you had phased array radars that were wire wrapped and that transitions now to, you know, PCB fabrication, but now you're 2D and we're getting 3D nature back to it again. But you don't have the equipment to do this or even here there's a continuous capacitor spiral where you don't have before, you know, traditional fab, it's via circle, via circle. And you know, with high frequencies, you get reflections and all these other kind of yeah. things. Um, but you know, unlike um, 3D printing in the mechanical space was an evolution of manufacturing. The world, people think in 3D. Yeah. 
whether it's a five-year-old playing with Legos or whatever. Now you go to college, you become a mechanical engineer, you learn statics, dynamics, and stresses, you know. But it doesn't change the creativity of the minds. Yeah. And SolidWorks and these, you know, these various 3D design you know, um, softwares doesn't really limit you. You're, you're sort of, you're still, you, yeah. you have these tools to be able to do it. Um, electronics, I would argue, nobody really thinks about electronics until they're in college if they pick a double E-path or something. <laughs> and day one, you show up to class and they give you ECAD. And ECAD is 2D. And, they, and, and so you don't even have the ability to think that way. Yeah, it's right out of the box. Yeah. And it's not natural, right? Because yeah. electronics is now you're talking electromagnetic spectrums and yeah. magnetic effects. And it's much more difficult for people to visualize it in 3D space if you don't have those tools. So we even had to create those tools. And, and it's going back to colleges now, maybe even K to 12, to do that inception. And you think about the disruptive companies that have come out in the course of history, Apple, right? Apple giving away the original apples to, to when I was in third grade or something, right? Uh, <laughs> like, you know, to, to, to try to get that inception for the next generation. Um, and, uh, and so it's about giving that inception, people seeing the ideas, and then it takes off from there. And then, well, that's, then, you know, that's, that's your other challenge, isn't it? To, to make that shift in thinking happen. Yeah. So it's, that's, which is quite an exciting challenge to have. Yeah. It is, it is. But it, for, for me, it's a bit like, you know, when we started to get the smartphones, it was huge, it was great, it was already existing, just at the beginning, 2005. Yeah. Huh? But it was just the beginning. And then people started to practice and see, oh, what are the possibilities, you know? And then you, you really accelerate and leverage yeah. on what you can do with just one gear. Yeah. And I think here, your, your point about the 3D, you know, other, people have to learn, oh, what can I do on 3D when I don't have anymore the constraints of the 2D? And you can get this circuit, it will be a box, much more compact, and these kind of things. But again, at the moment, it's not clear what will be the outcome of this. But it's coming, yeah. definitely it's coming. Yeah. So, how are things going in the US then? Because we, you know, obviously, Protronic is very much as European perspective. I, I would disclose that last year, has been the best every year for SMTech, mm -hmm. globally as a company yeah. and in the North American market. So for us, it's a very positive signal that what we have done the previous years, you know, step by step, building the, the business, it's starting now to pay off. Yeah. And I think it's not by luck that Nano started to get interest on us last year, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And now, with the, the organization in the US, led by Sean, we can really accelerate. We have the means to accelerate. We had plans step by step. You know, yeah. we are. We I told you at Productonica, we are Swiss. We are cautious. You know, going step by step, and now we can start to run. Yeah, right. And that's really exciting. We're, we're taking uh, the legacy nano side, and even on SM Tech. Um, when, when I joined in July first, there were five people. It, it's the typical model, sort of a remote sales team from a, an out a manufacturer outside the United States, and. Yeah. You know, that's what it is. And now, but we're now we're building a business inside the United yeah. States. We now have 38 people on staff. And if you'd like a job, we have many yes. requisitions open. <laughs> um, and uh, it's certainly to the viewers, check it out online if you're yeah. interested in joining the, the, new, the new fashion of electronics. And, and we're investing in SM Tech to, to, again, on the, on the, norm, the regular yeah. product lines to really accelerate uh, uh, into the United States and really build a business and not a, a sales right. network. Yeah. Yeah. Right, application engineering, customer service here. Yeah. Um, we tried to convince Pierre to, to move, move over <laughs> to the United States as our managing director. So he said, no, so we're going to hire. Us. So we're hiring another person. And, and the he's still here. No <laughs> you know? So we're, you know, we're hiring a managing director of, for yeah, SM Tech and, and Pierre is going to yes. stay around because we're investing, yes. we're investing into the future on, on both aspects. Yeah. We're, we're trying to get closer to academia because that's, yes, that's really, and, yeah. And, yeah. and the industry is showing up at the OEM level at the names that we need because it's the creative OEMs that are already at the forefront. And quite frankly, we're already starting to see it on the DOD side, which is you know, an even tougher um, area to crack um, leaning in, into the future. But we're, um, we're very happy with that. So I would, you know, I mean, uh, three months in is fantastic, but obviously I'm going to ask where do you see it being down the line, you know, years, two years down the line, where would you like it to be? I think the, it's not a theoretical question. Mm -hmm. By the end of this year, we will have probably already our first combined platform, where uh, yeah. both the engineering group will work on it, yeah. you know? So that will be one point. And then we, we are combining more and more synergies. What, what will happen? 
we know about. SM Tech, we will continue on our organic business. Yeah. And here we are quite, we have serious ambition. And we will start to get the combined business with Nano, where we have this vision of the line, you know. And that will accumulate. Yeah. So, I, again, I, I think it's going, we, we, have, we have to do our, the, the, the Nano team has to, to push on these early stage technology yeah. and come in, but again, the, the feedback is, is pretty impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And SM Tech, it's giving us now, now everybody will not question anymore about the solidity, the resource, you know, the, the responsiveness and so on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it, it's a business, it's no more a branch revenue. Yeah. It's it's building up a very long term business yeah. in North America. Right. So that's where we are. So in two years, <laughs> I, we have some we have some ambition. I'm not going to disclose that tonight, you know. But uh, I, we are pretty strongly confident. Yeah, we are Look, confident yeah. we'll make that. Yeah. Let me talk about from what we've publicly announced. We're we're actively engaged in M and A because that's how you accelerate the flywheel. Yeah. And we're fortunate to have the capitalization we do to make that happen. Um, you know, today's machine, the Dragonfly Four, from a 3D printing side, uh, that is printing prototyping boards and proof of concept boards. And, and so we need to be in the OEMs engaged in how they think about all the various things, again, that they can do. Because we don't want to just have a machine, you know, three years from now or whatever. We, we wind up with that, say, here, here it is, and nobody knows how to take advantage of it. So we need people on this prototyping and proof of concept journey for these boards um, with the Dragonfly. So that when we have these combined uh, units, that it's ready. Uh, but I would say... The, the way I think about it is we, we have identified all the ingredients to make the cake. Yeah. <laughs> now we're putting our chefs to work, yeah. buying the ingredients um, in, in order to put it all together. And, and there's a lot of work, you know, because you still have to figure out do you add the, the, uh, you know, the, the liquids to the solids and all these things in baking, but, and what temperature to bake it at, et cetera. But we, we have that identified. And so now it's a matter of execution. Um, and, and with technology, there's, there's always you know, hiccups that happen. Um, but if we stay nimble, acquiring the right kind of people, uh, really, fundamentally, at the end of the day, it's the people that are coming with these companies, that stay nimble, keep us as a startup mindset, and we can, get, we can evangelize these ideas and, and get that following, um, and quite frankly, promote AME as a standard uh, as, uh, for the industry. You know, it, while we consider ourselves to be the only ones that actually make uh, additive manufacturer electronics, the industry says pinner electronics usually just metalization on the outside of things. We're the only dual material, by definition, then multi only multi-layer approach. Yeah. Um, so we see a lot that we have to do with creating the ecosystem to support this. Standards like IPC aren't ready to uh, handle, you know, an FR4-like material. You know, better DK, a DF is better, but not RF-ready DF. But we do really. But if you redesign and tweak the circuits with continuous spirals, then you actually trade in DF issues because I don't have reflections in my circuits. Um, and, and so it's about developing that ecosystem with academia, with OEMs, getting, um, preparing some manufacturers that, that have the ability to lean in on the R&D side. We just had an announcement uh, about a TTM facility in, uh, on Monday um, to help make sure we start to bolster the ability to then have contract manufacturing. But really, the ideas have to come from the OEMs. Yeah. Well, Sam, it's a fantastic journey you're on. Oh, yes. Um, <clears throat> and it's great that you're, you know, you're getting vindication from those OEMs straight yeah, away. Yeah, absolutely. Now, that, that's, that's the bottom line, isn't yeah. it? If you didn't get that interest, you know, you, that journey yes. is a lot longer. For right. The fact that you've got that day one here on something like this is, is fantastic. Yeah. So, well, congratulations Thank on you. The whole innovation of it, but also you know finding out a way to work together that is so seems so creative. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're smiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're yeah. it's good. Yeah. We are teaming up since the beginning, almost the first week. Yeah, the first absolutely. week, you know, and we are. I don't want to say daily contact, but almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fantastic. Well, thanks for having time to come around and talk to us. I hope the rest of the show is really successful as Thank well. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you at the next show. <laughs> yeah, it will have, I mean, to be honest, I mean, I must admit, you know, this, it seems to have taken you a little bit by surprise how easily it's been adopted by people. People have got what you're, where you're coming from straight away by the sense yeah. of it. Yeah. You yeah. know, they understand and, you know, you've got such a compelling argument here that there's not really anyone that can say... <laughs> yeah, they get they get it, and yeah. it's just that different. You know, when Nano Dimension was last year, uh, they had about three million bucks left. 
uh, and, and now this total change to having $1.5 billion, you know, even the largest OEMs aren't throwing that kind of R&D to make something happen that's different, to shake it up, and, and we have the staying power to take the industry on this journey with us, and we're looking for the, 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 the thought leaders of, uh, that need the next generation five years out, or printing circuit boards on Mars because we don't want to ship them out there, or yeah. whatever it be, you know? Fantastic. Thanks for coming over, guys. Great, um, thanks, Sam. I hope the show is good for you. Thank so. you. Yes, thank you.